Okay, maybe you don't need a tradition, but like, it's just nice. Hello, my little angel choir. Welcome to the merriest place on the internet. I wanna talk about Christmas traditions that you can start today. They don't really require anything. If they do, it's very little. Simple things that you can do, extra holly jolly, that you can start today. Let's start with Christmas Eve. A funny little tradition on my dad's side of the family is a little something called Christmas Eve gift. Here's how it works. Christmas Eve morning, the first person to point to someone else and say, Christmas Eve gift, that person has to get the pointer a gift. That's it. That's the whole thing. It's only good the one time. It's only good for the one gift. And it's little and silly. It is not meant to be an expensive gift. It's not meant to be a very thoughtful gift. It's meant to just be a little silly something. White elephant gift them. It doesn't matter. And you can tweak this tradition any way you want. Maybe it has to be a food item. Maybe it has to be a homemade item. Maybe it has to be an expensive piece of jewelry. However you want to make it a tradition for your family. This is a really great tradition if you have a lot of family in the same place for more than just like Christmas dinner. It's a fun little thing to do before all the regular Christmas festivities start. You've got this one funny little thing that you do the day before that everybody's kind of on pins and needles about because you don't know who's gonna get it. You don't know if it's gonna be you. You don't know if you're gonna be the gifter or the giftee. And then like half the people forget about it on Christmas Eve morning until someone's like Christmas Eve gift and it's like oh crap. A lot of the best traditions usually render an aw crap out of someone. That's how you know it's a family tradition. The crap. Christmas Eve gift is a very easy, very quick, very non-planning required tradition that you can start this year immediately. Another Christmas tradition that I really, really love is the pickle. Pretty sure this is a German tradition, but here's what you do. Find a pickle ornament, or you can use a real pickle. Be smart about that though because you are gonna put it on your tree. Take a pickle or a pickle ornament and you tuck it in the tree, hang it on the tree, attach it, put it, stuff it, whatever, in your Christmas tree on Christmas Eve night. And the first person to find it on Christmas morning gets to open the first gift. This is a really good one for kids because they have to like find the pickle, which is actually a little bit difficult because the pickle is usually about the same color as the Christmas tree. That baby blends in. I have a pickle on my tree and I saw a whole bunch of pickle ornaments at Dollar Tree. So you can literally buy a pickle ornament for a dollar if you wanna go out and get one if you don't have a pickle at home that you can just put a real one in your tree. I don't know if I would actually put a real pickle in my tree, but you can. I believe that's how the tradition was originally birthed, started, originated. That's how they did it when they first did it. Person who finds the pickle first is the first person who gets to open a present. It's just silly. It doesn't take much. You could also use something not a pickle. Pick something that's green and put it in your tree and there you have it. You know, use a cucumber. That's still a pickle. Pick something, hide it in the tree. It's got a little bit of competitiveness. Nope. It's got a little bit of competitiveness to it, which is always great when the siblings are together. Fun times. Put a pickle in your tree. A Christmas tradition that we did in my family for years and years was Christmas dinner in your pajamas. We like to be lazy on Christmas Day. December is my like busiest busiest, craziest time of year. We've been working our tails off all of December. We've been putting Christmas together. We've been doing regular life stuff. No, December's kind of insane. So Christmas day, we just like to kind of kick back. We chill. We finally decided that it was kind of silly of us to put all this work into a big fancy Christmas dinner and like look nice and sit down nice when we just did that a month ago for Thanksgiving. Why go to the effort when we really just want to spend time together? So we took to eating Christmas dinner in our pajamas. If you change out of your your pajamas, you would change back into your pajamas for dinner because you have to dress for dinner and the dress code is jammies. Put on your gym jams and eat some delicious food. Especially since so many families traditions are new pajamas on Christmas Eve. It's another opportunity to just show them off. I got new sleepwear. I'm gonna wear it to dinner. It doesn't take anything. It doesn't take planning and it doesn't take anything extra. You have pajamas, wear them to dinner. It's one of my favorite family traditions and so I wanted to share it with you because like it's super simple and super fun. It's just great. Along the lines of Christmas dinner, another tradition would be to keep Christmas dinner really simple and casual. Something very, very simple and very, very easy and very, very non-worky. A lazy Christmas dinner, if you will. You've been working all December long. You deserve a break. Christmas day is the perfect time for it. On December 26th, we are sad because Christmas is over and we have to clean up the mess. So keep Christmas dinner casual and fun. Cook a frozen pizza, sandwiches, ramen noodles, canned soup, TV dinners, cold cereal in a bowl with milk. Is there another way to eat that? 
easy and nothing. Purposefully casual, purposefully easy, purposefully lazy, and everyone has a good time. A tradition idea that is super, super simple is to keep Christmas dinner super, super simple. I know these are kind of silly, but the point of traditions are to do this thing that you love with the people that you love yearly. It doesn't have to be a big, fancy, planned out, thought about, design grand production thing. It can be something very simple like frozen pizza for Christmas dinner. You'll thank me later when you don't have to cook Christmas dinner. Christmas caroling is another super easy thing that you can just go and do. Put on your coat, go outside with people who like singing and sing. That's it, that's the whole thing. That's all of Christmas care, that's, that's all that it is. This is super great if you want to do it a couple days before Christmas, Christmas Eve or like the 23rd. Knock on doors, sing carols. Not that many people Christmas carol anymore. That's just a shame. Maybe in other places they do, but around here I've never seen a Christmas carol or never. A really quick and easy and super fun Christmas tradition can be Christmas caroling with your family. You just go out and you sing. You don't even need like a song, but most people know enough Christmas songs that you can kind of just recirculate the same three songs over and over again. Also, I read this study that says people who sing together actually feel more love for each other. It's like a bonding thing. Ask any vocalist or like theater performer, singing with people creates a bond with that person. It just does. Go Christmas caroling, sing for your neighbors. They'll love it or they'll hate it and then they'll throw rotten tomatoes at you and that can be your Christmas tradition. Running from people throwing things at you. Christmas cardio. Another great Christmas tradition that is very easy is a family game. There were a couple years where my family played Risk on Christmas. It was awesome! Merry Christmas and happy world domination. Monopoly is also a good choice, but my mom banned that. We, we don't play that on Christmas or ever. Get a board game, get a card game, charades, picture, picture game, what's it? Picture, pic Pictionary! Competition with the siblings always great for a tradition. You know, eventually someone's gonna flip the table, it's gonna get dramatic and crazy, and you're gonna have a great story to tell, which is an important element of the holidays. Rage. Playing a game as a family is just super fun, and it's super easy. It's a nice thing to do, and it's an easy thing to do. Boom! Tradition. My last tradition suggestion for you is another one for Christmas Eve, and that would be to track Santa. Okay, this is one of my favorite things to do. Even before the kiddo came along, I tracked Santa on Christmas Eve. You go to NORAD, there's a link in the description below. It tracks Santa all Christmas Eve day and you can see where he's going all over the world. I have some people in other countries and I like to send them little messages when I'm like, hey, Santa's on his way. It's silly, but it's magical. And if you don't have kids, it just makes you feel like a kid again. And if you do have kids, they'll lose their mind over it. Always a good time. Track Santa, see where he's going. It's also a really great way to get the kids to bed early because it's like, dude, Santa's gonna be here at 9.30. He'll bypass you if you're not asleep. And I'm just saying, if you need that. I love tracking Santa on Christmas Eve. It's one of my most favorite traditions. I do it all day long on my phone. It's just the most exciting, most fun, magical thing to just see Santa flying around. You see all the different countries and he goes around the whole world and it's just, it's magic. I love the NORAD Santa tracker. It is one of my most favorite traditions of Christmas with or without kids. It's always a good time. Start a tradition, tracking Santa, spying on Santa. Holiday fun for the whole family. If you've got any silly, quirky, very unique traditions, I definitely want you to let me know about them in the comments. If you're suddenly feeling very festive and suddenly you're like, oh my gosh, I want a Christmas tree. I've got some last minute Christmas tree ideas right here. I'm off to spread more Christmas cheer. So until we meet again, sparkle on. <sighs> Tradition. Tradition. Microphones are so fashionable. Can you tell it's like almost the day? Can you tell? I can tell. Can you tell? I can tell. I can feel it. I can tell. We're fine.